How's it going, everyone? Uh, welcome to episode two of Building Bunks on a Jet Ski Trailer. Uh, so in the last episode, you guys saw me do a bunch of stuff to the trailer, clean up the wiring, paint it, um, bolt on the brackets for the bunks, and bolt up the wood for the actual bunks themselves. And this is what she's looking like. So pretty far along, uh, I got the old carpet off this side, pulled out almost all of the staples. Um, the only ones I left were ones that were like just too far and I didn't really feel like prying on them with a flathead and mangling up the wood for something that's not actually gonna touch the hull of the ski at all. Um, but yeah, so we're looking pretty good. First thing I'm gonna do today, I started a little bit, is grind down all the spots where I have to weld the brack, uh, yeah, the brackets to the trailer frame itself. So as you can see, I started, but um, I definitely gotta clean it up a, quite a bit more, <clears throat> especially the galvanized part. It's gonna be difficult because of the weird angle and just the tight quarters nature of where these brackets are, but I don't have enough. Um, I can't make enough continuous pressure with this little um, compressor right here to run this thing. So after I grind as much as I can with this bigger electric grinder, I'm going to bring the trailer over to the shop, cross the street, use this thing, and uh, try and get all those nooks and crannies as best I can before I start welding. So that's the plan for today. Um, I'm excited to finally make some serious progress on this trailer and hopefully by the end of the day, if all goes to plan, um, I'll have some carpet on here and I can test fit both of these skis and see if I have to move over these bunks at all or if we'll be good. <laughs> So I'm over in the shop now, and I got these bunk brackets cleaned up pretty good. Um, I got the welder out, all set up. My plan is to fully weld up that one that I relocated, and then move over to this side because it's not going to move, and uh, weld it up as best I can. Probably take off this tail light and weld up uh, where it's blocking. And then I'm going to move over to this one, which will probably get moved over, and I'm just going to tack it up in a few spots. And if I still have motivation for today after that, I'm going to cut out some pieces of angle iron and tack them in right there and right there for some extra support. But that's the plan. I'll see how it goes, but uh, I'm just going to start picking away at welding up these brackets. That's gonna be a wrap for today. Uh, so I ended up getting most of the bunks welded. Um, these ones, this one, and that one right there, I got tacked in. 
That one that I moved is fully welded. This one right here, um, it's welded all down there and up this way. And then this one, I fully welded and then added in this little piece of angle iron, welded that in. Probably gonna do the same back here, so that's why I didn't paint this fully. Um, but it's strong enough now that I can put the carpet on the bunks and slide the skis on and check my fitment. So that's probably gonna be in the next video, um, or maybe in this video, but definitely not today. I gotta put the carpet on the bunks, uh, staple it all up, and then squeeze both the jet skis on here somehow. So that should be a task. Um, excited to see if this is gonna work or if I'm gonna have to move this bunk over. We'll see, even if I do, it's not a big deal. All right, how's it going? So I just got carpet on the right side bunks here with my buddy Nick, yep. watching the process. And um, now I'm just gonna go ahead and do this side. This morning I ran to uh, West Marine, got another roll of fabric for the other side. And we're gonna get after it. Um, I learned a little bit doing the first side here. So the left side I did second, came out a bit cleaner. Um, but now I got the process down. So this side should go smoothly and yeah. We'll just uh, wrap her up in some carpet and then we'll test fit these skis. So that's what's coming next. Uh, exciting stuff. Finally going to see how the fabrication lines up and see if we're going to be in business or in trouble. So stay tuned for that.
Well, I finally got all the carpet installed on the bunks on this trailer. It looks really good. Uh, nice, fresh, clean black carpet matches the trailer color. Obviously, the trailer's a little dirty right now, but that doesn't matter. So the next thing I'm gonna do is put that ski right here, uh, cause I can use the winch to winch it on. And then I can put that ski on the stand and then use the stand to put it on here um, to test fit them. Cause I can't push that one on here cause it has to go backwards up the trailer um, and it can't be backwards on this trailer. So I need to stand in the middle. That's the plan. Um, in the middle of that, like after I get this ski on the trailer, um, the one that's on the stand currently, I think I'm going to pull the ski that's on the single trailer, my nice ski, over to the hose and wash it off and possibly hook it up and start her up for the first time this year. So that's where I'm at with that. Uh, really close to starting up. Battery's all charged. I've just been sanding down my connections over here um, and they're looking good. Sanded down my ground. Clean off the spark plugs, they're looking all right. Sanded them a bit. Um, what we got for fuel? Oh, full tank. So we got a full tank, I put stable in it last winter. That should be good to go. Um, no reason I shouldn't pop off. So that's always exciting. I look forward to it every year. Uh, so stay tuned for that very shortly. <laughs>
So she fired right up. A little faster than last year and a little cleaner. Quite a bit of smoke coming from it. Um, I think it was just the fog and oil burning off, but I think I'm gonna inspect the raves, um, clean them off. You're supposed to do it pretty much every season anyway, so. Last year I know I only did the one, so I'm probably gonna do both this year, which requires taking off the exhaust, but I wanna get the other one running first. At least I know this one's good to go for now. I'm gonna rinse this thing off. So that's gonna end it off for this video. Um, got quite a bit accomplished. All the carpets done on the bunks. Got one of the skis on there and I'm ready to put the other one on to test fit it. So that's where I want it to be. Um, got it out of the shed in the daylight here with the carpet on and that the project jet, jet ski here. So she's looking good. And then I just rinsed off the nicer jet ski. She's also looking good. Just gotta tilt this thing up, dump the water out. As you saw, she fired up, so one down, the easier one. And now, basically my next step is to put that ski on here, see if I have to move this bunk over. If I do, then move it. If I don't, then we're good. Um, and after that is all set, I'm gonna tackle this other jet ski right here. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, and stay tuned for more, because there's a lot more to do on this thing.